Coming up, it's outfielder versus wall. Baseball becomes a full speed contact sport. Athletes go for broke. And science picks up the pieces. Previously, we tested how much a baseball helmet protects a batter at the plate. But what kind of protection is there for an outfielder crashing full speed into the wall? All ballparks are different. And most have walls that are padded. But some outfield walls have no pads at all. So that got us wondering, What's the real difference between hitting a padded wall and an unpadded wall? Obviously, we know it helps. But just how much difference do the pads really make? To find out, we needed someone who was willing to run full speed into a wall. So we drafted a guy who's been sacrificing his body on the silver screen for years. Hollywood stuntman, Sam Hargrave. Sam's performed stunts in movies like Pirates of the Caribbean and Transformers. And now he's starring in a sports science short film, Man vs. Wall. I'm a bit of a lab rat today. I'm looking forward to running into things. It's what I do for a living, so. <laughs> I'm running into a wall, just another day at the office. And here on the Sports Science AstroTurf playing surface, we've constructed something for Sam to run into. Our little green monster. It's built to the exact specifications of a typical outfield wall, eight feet high. On one section, we've attached a thin crash pad. And the other, it's nothing but solid, unforgiving wood. That is a hard wall. It hurts my fist. We're going to have you do this twice. Once into a padded wall, the second time, it's going to be on our unpadded wall. Thank you for letting me do the pad first, because <laughs> I don't know how fast I'll get up after hitting the hard wall with no pad. To test this bone-crushing hit, the wall will be rigged with a tech scan pad. It uses thousands of sensors to calculate precisely how the force is distributed over Sam's body when he comes crashing in. With the high-tech hardware in place, it's time for Sam to man up. We have our medic standing by. Full force, straight in the wall. Let's do it! Sam is a professional and knows the risks of a full speed collision. But the rest of us should not try this at home. All right, this one's for real. Three, two, one, go. You okay? Yep. How are you? Great. Good. Yeah. Are you all right? Good. There's no dog in it on that. Mm -hmm. Can be. So how much force was in that hit? Accelerating up to 18 miles an hour, Sam slams into the wall with an overall force of almost 1,700 pounds. That's like falling 13 feet off the roof of your house. The highest concentration of the impact was focused on Sam's shoulder. Over 100 pounds of force. 
reason he didn't seriously injure himself is because he's a professional stuntman who knows how to position his body for a high-speed impact like this. Pro outfielders, on the other hand, are focused on trekking fly balls and don't always brace themselves for impact. One player who learned the hard way about unforgiving walls, rising young Major League superstar, Matt Kemp. I misjudged the ball last year and it cost me a month of the season. I, I dislocated my shoulder and uh, it's just a timing thing. I, I didn't time it right and I, I ran into that hard wall. Kemp seriously injured himself running into an unpadded wall of thick plexiglass. Would a padded wall have made a difference? To find out the kind of forces Kemp experienced at impact, our stuntman will throw his unprotected body into the unpadded wall. Now with this wall not being padded, I mean, are you worried about getting hurt? Worried? No. I mean, that's always a possibility when you're doing stunts, and uh, I'm okay with that fact. In spite of the fact that he could easily dislocate his shoulder like Matt Kemp, or worse, Sam is willing to take another full speed run at the wall. And that last one, it hit the padded wall pretty hard. This time on the non padded wall, we'll just try to take the whole wall down. They say leave it all on the field. We want you to leave it all on that wall. Three, two, one. So how much force was in that collision? Sam barreled into the unpadded wall with the same speed and the same 1,700 pounds of force as he hit the padded wall. But this time, the tech scan sensors reveal that his shoulder felt over 150 pounds of that force. That 50 pounds of added force on the unpadded wall is like the difference between falling off your roof and landing on your driveway versus landing on your lawn. Matt Kemp collided with an unpadded wall with most of the force focused on his shoulder. But had he hit the padded wall, the pads would have distributed the force over more of his body and they would have decreased the forces he felt by slowing him down more gradually. By lengthening that deceleration 300%, Matt Kemp's run in with a padded wall could have left him with just a bruise instead of a serious dislocation. Bottom line, padded walls can drastically reduce injuries, letting outfielders turn a grand slam into grand theft.